Vascular damage from an atherothrombotic lesion has triggered platelet activation, propagating the release of numerous activators. Platelets continue to become activated. This activation of platelets represents a continuing assault on lesions throughout the vasculature. The key to chronic control of platelet aggregation is to manage the ongoing rapid onset of platelet activation. Platelet activation and aggregation play the same integral role in thrombotic complications, resulting from either percutaneous coronary interventions or from spontaneous plaque rupture. The resulting endothelial damage exposes underlying tissue elements that activate platelets upon contact. Unactivated platelets are rapidly recruited to the site of injury and undergo a shape change, enhancing their ability to interact with each other and with the subendothelial surface. Within seconds, a monolayer of platelets has partially repaired the damage, if only platelet activation would shut down at this beneficial stage. This monolayer of platelets now begins to release numerous activators. Platelet activation becomes highly amplified. Internally, thromboxane A2 is generated from platelet membrane lipids. Preformed ADP with other messengers are released through degranulation. The released ADP binds to surface ADP receptors on circulating platelets, amplifying the platelet activation process. Recruitment phase, more degranulation, release of more activators, activation of surface receptors, thrombin, prostaglandins, markers of inflammation. Platelet activation has resulted in platelet aggregation, a detrimental process progressing relentlessly, a process that must be managed. Might there be another reason to manage platelet activation? This powerful activation cycle is accompanied by expression of platelet surface inflammatory markers, which promote platelet endothelial cell and platelet inflammatory cell conjugates. Thus, activation of platelets propagates the activation of multiple elements, triggering an inflammatory cascade, further emphasizing the need to manage this process. Thus, platelets are initially recruited as beneficial structural repair elements for maintaining the integrity of the vasculature. However, this defensive repair mechanism is amplified beyond benefit to the vasculature and requires effective management during both the acute and chronic phases to inhibit platelet aggregation, to help control inflammation, to reduce levels of platelet mediators. Thus, platelet activation the central pathway to platelet aggregation may result in vascular blockage, leading to acute myocardial infarction or stroke. The goals of effective platelet management are fast, powerful, and reliable inhibition of activation and subsequent aggregation. Daiichi Sankyo Incorporated and Eli Lilly and Company are engaged in ongoing antithrombotic research and development. Our goal is to improve outcomes in patients with cardiovascular disease.